In the previous video, we discussed how to add detection zones. In this video, we will go more in-depth to review some tips in how to best draw video detection zones using the web user interface. The simplest detection zones to draw are for applications where the camera is properly located in the center of the oncoming approach, combined with straight lines. For these applications, oftentimes, a video detection zone may not require more than four points. A camera view that is slightly offset from the center of the oncoming approach will require a different strategy. In this case, the detection zones cannot stay within the lane striping in order to properly detect traffic. For applications with curved approaches, by adding several points, it is possible to accurately follow the curvature of the path that vehicles will take when moving through the camera view. The most important thing to consider when drawing detection zones is where vehicles commonly travel through the camera view. While drawing detection zones, you can refresh the image to catch a fresh look at live traffic characteristics by selecting the refresh button at the bottom left corner of the Configure Detectors utility. It is also important to draw the detection zones at minimum a few feet across the front area of the stop bar to provide detection for vehicles that pull ahead of the stop bar. While we do want to maximize in-sync key detection capabilities by drawing the detection zones as far back as possible, there is no need to extend the zones beyond the point in the back of the camera view where the zone would be so tiny that it could not provide accurate detection. Remember that any changes you make will not be saved until you select the Update Intersection button. I have just reviewed some scenarios and best practice tips to consider when drawing video detection zones using the InSync web user interface.